Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here. Today's game playing some Battle Regalia top lane Poppy on a patch 5.24, I believe to be the last patch actually for season 5. Uh, technically it's a preseason for season 6, but uh, well, it's not, like it's going to be patch 6.1 if not 6.01 uh, come the new year. So yeah, this is the last patch for the rest of the year, which is kind of crazy to think about that season 5 has pretty much come to a close and now we're finally going to get into the real stuff in season 6. I'm really excited for it actually. Because, uh, I don't know, I mean, they might release a ton of stuff again like they did on 5.22, which was like a huge patch for the preseason. But it's likely they won't. We'll see. We'll see what, how things change. But uh, I'm really excited for it. But yeah, we're playing Poppy here, though. Reworked Poppy. Uh, there's a lot to mention with Poppy that's changed. But really, in summary, you should know that her identity is somewhat different, but still kind of the same. Because she's still, you know, of course, this tiny Yordle who's got this hammer and all that. And her abilities kind of seem the same, but they're slightly different. Uh, her Q is AoE now, and it hits twice. You know, of course, the first area that you hit on the floor, you can see the range is not very big. And then the area you hit will explode afterwards. Uh, I think the first component slows, but the other one doesn't. Uh, let me slow inside it by 20%. Yeah, so the first hit slows when they're on top of the area that's going to explode, if that makes sense. Which is kind of cool. She also has this new passive that's like this ranged auto attack. I'll try and show off against Hecarim here. There we go. And it kind of jumps off like a Zac passive, and it can be destroyed, so that's kind of cool. But if you last hit with it, Instead of bouncing off like that, like I, like I said, like a Zack blob, it will instead behave uh, kind of like a Victor's Q, where it will, you know, come with the unit and then come all the way back and work as a shield for you. I'm just going to get the shield there. So yeah, this is kind of what I'm talking about. It's pretty cool, actually. I like it quite a lot. But yeah, in this lane here, though, we're against a Hecarim, which shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's doable. It's not a hard lane. It's not an easy lane, though, either. It's just, you know, it's a lane. It's a top lane lane. And there's some nice damage for us, actually, against the Hecarim. And it looks like his Thunder has decreased going off, and he's going all in on us. And he's actually going to kill us here, isn't he? Oh, but hold on, hold on. <laughs> Alright, that was super weird. So, he dove me for who knows what reason, because he was not tanky enough to take the turret shots. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I'll play, because I planned that. <laughs> no, I didn't. But in a way, I sort of did. I knew that if I flashed behind him, it would completely mess up his entire plan of diving me. Because when you're... Being dove like that, normally people would just run away. My plan, though, was to turn around, do some damage to him, and juke some of his stuff, which I think I did. I'm not totally sure about that, though, but I think I juked some of his stuff. And that allowed me to really outplay him there, and that's awesome. So from here, this lane should get a lot easier for us. And let's go ahead and just walk past him, and... Oh, I was hoping to get him to the wall. That's fine, though. Let's go ahead and just trade with this guy a little bit, though. Do some decent damage. Not a ton, but some. And actually, he might just kill us here. Can Mumu show up? Oh my god, Mumu showed up. <laughs> See you later, Ekram. 2-0, baby. That's the shit I like. Alright. Well, that was really strange, but... <laughs> I'll take it. Hecarim must be really salty right now. I kind of want to push it to his turret, but I know I can't do it fast enough, so I'm just going to freeze it here as long as I can. And as soon as he shows back up, I'll probably just base and TP back and go from there. Yeah, max the Q first, though. It is your main damage source. Not to mention, it hits twice. And it's really good wave clear as well, so definitely max that first. And, uh, hold on, I missed a minion there, that's not good. Look at these ones, though. Ah, man, I messed that one up. Alright, once my Q's back up, I'll clear these ones out here, then I'll go back to base, I think. Oh, fuck, he's here. Ugh, run away! You can't kill me, Hecarim, because you're level 2 and I'm level 4. But he's taking a lot of damage from minions there. Look, he's already basically half HP from minions. That is a very unwise choice. What is he doing? He's basically lost all of his HP from minions. What a hooligan. Alright, let's get ourselves our Phage, our Pink Ward. And we'll TP right back to lane here. And go from there. Holy crap, though. This guy's really not playing well. I'll admit a slight bit of luck on my part has been a factor here. But, man, this guy's making a ton of mistakes. Mistakes that I am very happy to take advantage of. Alright, so 23 farm to his 9. Because, of course, he spent some time dead. And returning to lane and all that jazz. But uh, next time he shows himself, I'll probably just kill him again. But I find it ridiculous, though. This guy came back to lane with just potions. Five of them, to be exact. And <laughs> and from there, he returns to lane to get damaged by minions and leave. <laughs> like, what the heck is he doing? This guy is crazy. Alright, well, I may as well mention the teams here. We have Hope HD playing a Mumu in the jungle. You saw him save my ass just there. Also got Nathan Kazuki playing as our Echo mid. Next up would be Lava Demon on that Tristana AD carry. And lastly, we have Big Moose Knuckle on the Lulu support. But yeah, so that's the first difference with Poppy's uh, abilities. I should probably mention the rest of them, of course. Her W still has the component of extra speed buff when you activate it 
but uh, some other things have been changed about it. There's no longer that W passive anything like that anymore. That's completely removed. Instead, the passive is the extra resists that double when you're below 40% HP, I think. Maybe it's, maybe it's at 50? Uh, no, it's 40%. So yeah, when you're low, your res passive resist double, which is very, very good. And let's go ahead and knock this guy to the wall if we can. It looks like we did. Let's go pop our W as well for the move speed. And there we go. All right. Taking out most of his HP already, which is that combo. Because your E does a lot of damage if you hit against the wall. Because it doubles the damage, of course, that it would normally do. Which is awesome. And it looks like a Mumu's showing up here. Doing some damage, but not quite going to take him out. I would have loved to have helped in that gank. But honestly, it would have provided nothing. Because if I walked forward, Hecarim would have just left. And that's obviously not what you want. And not to mention, I would have missed a lot of minions for it. So, decent gank by Mumu. Got some free damage off. But not a good timing for me to be joining him, if that makes sense. So yeah, what's going on this minute here? Oops, never mind, I missed that one. I guess I'll get the Siege then instead. Get that. Extra magic damage from your passive uh, projectile thing. Helps out. It looks like Lee Sin's mid. So I have to worry about him just yet. But yeah, I mean, I've been freezing here for oh, quite a while. So Hecarim's really missing a lot of farm, which is great for me. 44 farm to his 9. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well in this lane. Considering how close that early fight was and how lucky I got off of that. Going forward. Anyways, though, let's get this pink ward down and control the vision a little bit and go from there. And my dog's barking. Uh, I hate that. <laughs> not that I hate the dog barking, but yeah, it's kind of annoying. I don't really mind it, though, because it's like not a big issue for me. But it really just takes away from the professionalism that I like to establish in my videos. So I do apologize about that. But now we're level 7 and he's level 3. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did some scouting before this game to see what kind of players are playing against ELO-wise and the champions they're playing and all that stuff. This guy's a platinum player. <laughs> Goes to show you that, well, sometimes players are higher than they belong, and sometimes people... Well, maybe this guy just got really salty and made a lot of bad decisions. That's also possible. But it also goes to show you that almost anybody can get to high elo. <laughs> it really does. So let's go ahead and just walk back to lane here. Got the war down to cover my ass against Lee Sin, because I do expect him to show up. Looks like my expectations, though, were very wrong, because he went bot lane. Let's go ahead and harass Hecarim, though, with that passive hit. Do some damage to him. And get that shield. And all right, he's very, very much chunked. And yeah, your ultimate is totally different from what it used to be. The diplomatic immunity is entirely gone. Instead, you have this huge hammer attack that essentially it's, I mean, it's a knockup of this damage. And depending on how long you channel it, you'll knock them further towards their summoner platform. Which normally I would use as disengage if I need to. But as far as going for damage in like a fight in lane, you just want to tap it because then it'll be a knockup. However, it's not like a Malphite knockup that you can do damage to them while they're knocked up. Unfortunately, it's a knockup that makes them untargetable, which is a little bit different, but still effective. It just means that you can set up your Q a little bit more easily, I guess you could say. And there's some nice damage to him, harassing him a little bit. And let's do some more damage to the wave. But yeah, as long as we pressure this guy, we should be okay. I don't really want to do kill him <laughs> much more, though. That's why I'm kind of taking it easy on him right now. I mean, I'm doing some damage to him still, but I'm not, like, diving him or anything like that. Because even though I could, honestly, I probably I pretty easily kill this guy. I just... I, I feel kind of bad, honestly. I mean... <laughs> The guy died twice when I was so incredibly low HP. Like, I really do feel bad for him. Nah, it's okay, man. You don't have to dive. Just take it easy. Go gank mid or something. Yeah, I'm already fed as is. We don't have to take too much advantage of this guy who's clearly having a rough time. And I don't want him to AF carry him like that. Like, that's that's no fun for anybody. But it looks like a Momo is going to invade a little bit to get some damage done. At this point, I think I'm Hecarim's around until I know he's not. I want to just kind of zone him but from minions by not fast pushing. And the minute I think he's gone, which... I'm starting to think every moment here that he is gone. I should start pushing. Yeah, you know he, this guy's definitely gone. He hasn't shown for so long. So I'll just fast push it now and try to make him miss the siege mini under a turret. Clear up some minions there. Oops, missed that one. That's okay. But yeah, as far as our itemization goes, though, this game, you can see here we have the phage, which we're going to be working towards getting a black cleaver. Black cleaver is really, really good. Unpoppy means damage, it's cooldown reduction, it's HP, it's. Extra move speed and all that. It's a very good item. Now let's go ahead and knock this guy into the wall. Pop our W for the extra move speed as well. Also canceling his dashes if he leaves the uh, area or enters it with that sort of thing. Now let's go ahead and just alt here if we... Oh, we don't have mana. <laughs> I thought I had mana for it. Whoopsies. Alright, well, Mumu's coming in here. That should be a free kill for him. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't calculate my mana on that, on that one, but that's okay. Still managed to do a nice trade with him and would have liked to finish him off. Didn't get the opportunity to because I was out of mana, but that's totally fine. Because Amumu was here to be our ace in the hole and finish that one off. Yeah, it looks like Lee Sin's bot lane for some reason. Oh, we are out of minions here, actually. Switch back off. Yo. Amumu, what are you doing, man? <laughs> pay attention to the minion wave, man. All right, there we go. I guess then again, I didn't pay attention to my mana pool. He didn't pay attention to the minions. We're all terrible. It's fine. 
Let's go ahead and clear these up. Get this last one. All right, cool. And yeah, I think from here, I mean, our farm is pretty good. We're basically at 90 at 10 and a half minutes. Not too shabby. We're sitting at 201. Not too bad either. And that department, Hecarim's having a really rough game. I kind of just want to roam because I feel bad for this guy. Not to mention, I don't think there's much more I can take from him at this point. But we ourselves our finished black cleaver, though. So like I said, tons of mobility, tons of damage, tons of core reduction, tons of tankiness. It's it's the jack of all trades top laner item for any sort of AD fighter. Honestly, it's it's a great item. So now we have that, we can work towards our next uh, item pretty soon. Actually, hold on, look at bot lane. I'm coming in, boys. Let's do this. And I'm going to try to stun someone against the wall if I can. Stun Lisa against the wall. He's under turret shots as well, so he's going to be in a really rough spot. Let's go to alt this guy here, knocking him up. He becomes untargetable, but it still does damage and knocks him up. So it's still very effective, and unfortunately, Lava D-Man there on the Tristana is going to get completely destroyed there by the Nautilus. But we'll pick up the kill there onto him, and where happened to Callista? She got away. Alright, no, never mind, she died. That's fine. See, not too bad. We lost one person in that, but it's just not a big deal. Let's get the rest of these minions here. Alright, cool. And Dragon's actually yeah, a pretty decent idea. We can probably do that ourselves. But yeah, I sent a 401 though. Holy crap, are we ever doing well score-wise? I feel like mechanically and just strategy-wise, I'm doing terribly, but my score does not reflect that, which is... Kind of nice. So let's go ahead and clear up the dragon here. Yeah, once I get the dragon, I'll probably just return back to top lane. Did Hecarim go AFK or something like that? I haven't seen him forever. I'm just going to ask. Because, yeah, like, there's a lot of minions up top. I mean, what happened to this guy? I haven't seen him forever. Yeah. Well, yeah, the guy's probably salty. Oh, no, never mind. He's top. Never mind. <laughs> I guess they thought he was AFK, but he must, he must have just TP'd up or something like that. All right. Well, he's back. That's what matters. If he wasn't back, I was going to say something along the lines of, you know, get him to come back. I won't fight him. I'll give him some time to catch up. Because, it's you know, it's a normals, and I don't really want to have a game where I just stomp the shit out of this guy, make him rage and quit. That's no fun. It's not very good for the video either. I would much prefer a game where, you know, I don't, I don't mind giving him some time to catch up and go from there. That's just my preference, though. But, uh... You hurt his feelings already. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I'll clip one more wave here, then probably just go back and go from there. Yeah, this game is decently boring right now, but I think things will get more interesting as we start doing more team fights. Clear up these minions here, there we go. Alright, and let's go back. Now if Hacker was smart, yep, he'd be doing exactly this. He knows I'm out of mana, so he's expecting me to go back, and so he's taking this time to, uh, I guess this liberty, to just clear up some farm. Alright, let's get ourselves the boots here. I'm thinking what makes a lot of sense for us as far as boots goes is Nidalee's decently strong. She's got one kill and a decent farm. So, magic resist might be good, but the rest of the team is AD. So, I think it's too sweet to finish our boots just because we don't really know what we need yet. I'm going to get the giant's belt for Deadman's Plate instead and the extra just simple boots and go from there. Now, Deadman's Plate is actually a great item for Poppy because not only is it just great base stats, you know, HP and armor, but... The basic attacks discharge all momentum dealing one damage, blah, 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 blah. If 100 stacks are discharged, damage is doubled and the target is slowed by 75% decaying over one second. That extra, you know, decaying slow or whatever that is, and extra damage, applies on your ranged auto attack. So what you can do is you can go fast with your W and then get that ranged auto attack off and slow them with that ranged auto attack that's already empowered just by beating the ranged auto attack because it's your passive hit like that. But also do more damage because of damage plate. It's a great synergization, I think, of items in the Champions uh, kit, and I think it's a really good item to grab as your main HP uh, armor item. So yeah, definitely pick that up, guys, if you're playing Poppy on the rework. It's amazing. And it looks like a lot's going on bot lane there. Everyone's down there. Damn, it's it's a party down there. All right, well, while they're all partying bot lane, I'm just going to get this turret here. <laughs> yep, five bot. That's insane. All right, there we go. Got ourselves that. And it looks like Amumu's still down there. Is the rest of our team there? Nope. Looks like the majority of them left because you get Hecarim's mid, but a few of them are still there, actually. I mean, I don't have TP, so I can't really help, but what I can do is I can't pressure top lane to make Hecarim miss more stuff and possibly take out their turret. Or even their blue buff. Is there blue buff here? Nah. If it was here, though, that'd be awesome. Mid lane's getting pressured, though, so I'm going to go mid lane because no one on my team is going to go get it, so I may as well be that man. He goes and does it. And go from there. And actually, contrary to popular belief, we're actually losing this game so far. I just realized that. But yeah, we have more turrets because we have the one top lane. But aside from that, I mean, bot lane's unfortunately not winning so far. Oops. And how did that Q miss that minion? That's rather surprising. 
Yeah, the Q's AoE, I mean, the Q does so much damage to champions, but unfortunately, its AoE is a little bit, uh, it's, it's, uh, its hitbox is rather small, so a lot of time you end up missing it when you think you're hitting it. But yeah, a few of them are still bot lane here. I'm thinking I might be able to come down and maybe make a player of some sort, because our teammates are still fairly healthy, at least the ones that are still around. And if we get like a dive going or something like that, that'd be good. Now we know the red buffs there as well, so that's good. And yeah, they're pretty chunked. If they go for a fight here on Lava D-Man, I might be able to save the day. I'm coming in. Can I knock Diddly to the wall? Yes, I can. There we go. Very nice. Let's go knock Lee Sin up. Do some damage to him and help my teammates follow me up. There we go. There's the kill for us. And Lulu got the first one, of course, on Nidalee. Nice job, team. I'm almost like Jungle Poppy. Ganky as much as I am this game. <laughs> Not quite. But speaking of which, actually, Jungle Poppy is pretty decent, but I think I prefer Top Lane Poppy just because her early game is kind of mediocre. As you saw, my lane phase was just kind of, you know, it was a bit crazy this game, but it's not very strong. It just kind of worked out this game because of how ahead we got. And actually, let's lock you into the wall and just combo the fuck out of you. There we go. Justan's going to help, but we're going to get the last of that auto attack. So very nice job there, team. All right, and got ourselves a turret as well. Yeah, with Poppy, it's all about lining up so you get that heroic charge into the wall. If you manage to line that up and knock him into the wall, it helps out so much because there's more damage and it CCs them. Yeah, as a stun. And that's why you max a second. It's because the damage on it goes up, not to mention the stun duration. It starts off at 1.6. and goes all the way to 2.0, which is huge. And there we go. Dead man's plate. And yeah, look at their team. I mean, Nidalee's the strong one, but Kalista's stronger. So I think Ninja Tabby makes a lot more sense this game. So I'll grab that. And I'll grab a new pink works. Looks like mine got taken out. And we'll go from there. Uh, next drag. Oops. 60 seconds. Let's be ready for a team fight. I always want to abbreviate that into TF, but then people get confused, like, wait, is there a TF in our game? What? Yeah, but so, you cannot say team fight, otherwise people get confused. Although I do prefer abbreviating things, if possible. So we're going to get ourselves that minion there, with that passive auto attack that is ranged, does bonus magic damage, and shields us, and <laughs> slows people, because our demands plate when we have the charges built up. And does extra damage from demands plate as well, so yeah. It's... A little bit of everything, it's awesome. And hold on, can we get the stun here against the wall on Nautilus? I think we can. Yes, we can. All right, let's damage this guy. If we can catch him out and kill him, we might be able to get this dragon for free. Hecker wants some of this. He's not going to get none of it, though. And hold on, dodge the spears, baby. Nice. And let's go ahead here. And hold on, Lisa, what do you think you're doing? Get out of here. And I'm going to try and knock up Hecker here just to get him out of the fight for a little bit. And hold on, what else can we do? Knock him around. Alright, cool. And there's the kill for me, actually. Don't know how I got that one, because he seemed to have quite a bit of HP when I eat him, but that's okay. And there's the dragon for us. Alright, not too bad. Yeah, new Poppy's a lot of fun, man. I love this champion. I always thought Poppy was a really cool concept, but just her kit was just super flawed in the sense that her mana costs and her mana pool early on were just so low and really quite... <laughs> It wasn't good, and her late game just seems really OP with her diplomatic immunity. So I'm glad they maintain a bit of her identity of what the kind of concept you would expect from this champion, while still making her balanced now. She's actually really interesting now, and I like that a lot. And I'm thinking what makes a lot of sense for me is she just go to farm this fat wave that's building up here. I'm a little bit worried though, because it is pretty far up, so I might get ganked by a few of them. But I have my flash, I have my mana for my abilities, I should be able to escape if need be. But no guarantees what will actually happen. It looks like my team actually got that mid turret though. So nice job to them. Props and all that. We're sitting at basically 140 farm here at 19 minutes. Could be better, could be worse. We've made some team plays and all that. So I'm not complaining. This hacker was having a really rough time. I feel bad for him, but at the same time, he kind of did this to himself. So I can't be I can't feel too bad for him. I mean, he's the one who decided to dive me level two. He's the one who decided to uh, dive me again afterwards with Mumu right there. And I know their team is all around me here, and I'm really worried about it, but. I do not think there's any way out of here besides just flashing the wall, which they're not going to let me do. I'll just accept my fate. I'll hold to my summoners. That's fine. And actually, Nautilus got the kill. That is even better than anything else in the world because Nautilus having the gold is like the last priority. That's the last person they want to be getting all the kills. You know what I mean? So that's very, very good. I mean, no, it's not very, very good. It's, it's bad, but it's less bad than it could have been. So I'll put it that way. But yeah, as far as our next item here goes, I'm thinking it makes a lot of sense for us because, I mean... Extra magic against Nilu might be nice, but I mean, you can see here, it's, eh, she, she did some decent damage, but she shouldn't, she wouldn't be focusing me under more normal circumstances. I think getting some more damage or some more HP, something like that, might make more sense, so. Uh, Triforce doesn't really work because your Q's not on hit anymore. I'm thinking that Sterk's Gauge is a really good item for Poppy, honestly. Because I'd like to be right in the fray, right in the fight itself, and with that item, if I take a lot of damage, which would happen, honestly, uh, I'll have that extra shield, not to mention I have more just base stats from the item itself. I like it a lot. Extra HP, extra damage. I think it's great. 
So I'll go ahead and work with that. And I just want to TP top lane there and make sure I didn't uh, lose minions to the turret or anything like that. And clear some of these out. And, oh, there we go. Cool. And, uh, hold on. Let's see. What's the team doing? I'm trying to figure out what the plan here is. I think just pressuring this mid turret might be a good idea. So let's just group up mid. Group mid. And we've got a team fight going. And I'm behind them actually here. Okay, maybe can I make something happen? Can I knock these guys around? Alright, we're doing a lot of damage to them. This is good. The Lulu ult on me is kind of unnecessary, but it's helping. And hold on, the Mumu's coming in here. Can you get the ult off? Oh, here we go. Knocks close into the wall. This is good. Let's go. Let's do damage to Nautilus now. What's up, Lee Sin? What's up? Oh, hold on. He's going to safeguard. Never mind. I was hoping to kill him. Nah, he got away. I could have used my E there, but I didn't think my E plus my Q uh, would do enough damage. I thought I needed to lap the the uh, stun against the wall to do the extra damage that I needed. Unfortunately, that lineup didn't present itself. Unless I flash to his side, then work with that. But that's just too much of an overkill for Lee Sin, I think. It was 1 and 4. So, we'll let him go. He'll survive. We'll still get the turret here, and I need to hold him to my flash. Worth. And I think I'll ward up there's his base a little bit here. And hold on. Might we get some damage on some people? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to rotate top here, get the free farm, possibly pressure the top turret, and go from there. Not too sure just yet what the plan is, but I think this is a good way to start. And hold on. I'm almost getting a little bit caught out here. I'm coming in, though. Let's go ahead and angle ourselves knock Hecarim to the wall. See you later, buddy. Taking the extra time to get that knock into the wall, man, is always worth it. Although, you might do enough damage right away. You get the stun and extra damage total. It's really worthwhile to make sure you get that lineup. And actually, hold on here. Actually, I don't think I need to flash, but I got a little bit panicked. And hold on. Let's do some damage to Kalista. See you later, Kalista. You're out of here. We have a Mumu coming in. Does he have alt? He does not have alt. I'm just going to run away. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Hold on, though. Tristana jumping in. Lee Sin. Got to take him out. Yeah, I don't know about this. We don't have Echo with us. This is dangerous. I do not like danger. I like... I like safety and security and all that good stuff. Yeah, I think I'm just going to waddle on away. I mean, they can try to pursue me, but they won't catch me. Or maybe they will. Maybe I'll just run faster. 513 movement speed. Not bad. And that's only one point in this ability, too. I think it does get stronger. Poppy, are you a YouTuber? Name is familiar. I use one true media. Nah, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I remember that one point though. I was in a high school course years ago, right? And uh, <laughs> this one guy was. <laughs> our teacher was talking about you can use a YouTube video for your project. So if you want to, like, I guess, uh, really show off your your project, you can make a YouTube video and then post it. And this one, this one motherfucker puts his hand up. I don't use YouTube. I use one true video or one true media or something like that. <laughs> And I was like, what the hell is that? I've never even heard of this witchcraft. What, what, what is that? And he starts to explain it's basically YouTube, but it's better. But I've <laughs> that's the only time I've ever heard anyone say that ever. So, yeah, he probably didn't know what he was talking about. But it's still it's still funny when people ask me if I'm a YouTuber. I'm just like, nah, I use one true media or one true video. Best site ever. All right, so yeah, we have the Sterix Gauge now, which should be awesome for us. Extra base HP, extra uh, HP as well. And whenever we take a lot of damage, we can have that shield established. And if we could chase on the, the Callista, never mind, she's going to flash. But still, free flash. I'll take it. And 20 seconds on Dragon here. I think I'll just pressure mid lane a little bit more here. Because Heck, or not Hecarim, uh, Echo's not there just yet. Gimme, gimme. And yeah, after we clear these up, we can go to Dragon for free. Because we already have two. We'll get ourselves a third. That'll be awesome. And hold on, Nautilus is here. Might be able to catch this guy. Yeah, she went number on. He's too fast. He's got Moby Boots or something. And whoopsies, took a spear to the face. But you can see, even without any magic items, I mean, that's a sliver of damage. That's like nothing. Now, Hecarim's pressuring top here, but I think after we finish the dragon up, we might be able to waltz up there with our TP. And the TP, uh, the turret's still pretty healthy, so. Yeah, let's go. Let's do exactly that. Alright, cool. And we should be able to save it. Nah, she's not going to save it, but that's okay. We still get a lot of free farm. And my team appears to be fine without me. I mean, Leeson died, so yeah, we're good. Oh, Gucci. And yeah, as you can see, though, one thing I love about the new Poppy is even without any ability mana, mana items, I'm still I'm still totally fine as far as mana usage goes, which I really like about this champion. And that brings up a topic, actually, that I think I want to mention is I think I want to get Frozen Heart next, because I think Frozen Heart would not only increase my mana pool, but also give me some more CDR to cap me out, and more armor, which I think would be really good this game. And then maybe finish off with a Banshees or a Maw. Oh, Maw would be great. Or a Hexshaker, to be more specific. 
But yeah, I think I'll sell this for the time being. Because right now I only need it for really mana. And so if I get the Glacial Shroud, I won't really need it anymore. Good stuff. It looks like they pick up a few kills. Good job, team. And yeah, I think I'll just head over to the jungle. Get some more extra stuff going on. And Amumu in the 1v1 with the, with the Hecarim. Yeah. I don't think Hecarim stands a chance. And he went Rune Cleave. Freaking, freaking Thomas of HD. He's my buddy. I, I know him from like uh, several years and several different <laughs> games and stuff. And he's the kind of guy he's like, fuck the meta. I'm going to build damage on every character I ever play ever. He's the kind of guy who goes AP Malphite, AP Amumu, that kind of stuff. AP Nautilus. He's crazy. And hold on, Nidalee, you want to get something against the wall? That's what you're going to get. See you later. Amumu with the KS. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and just take this out. Oh, he wants to smite it. All right, so I'll take the kill and the blue buff. Greedy much? All right, I'm going to take this one for you then. How do you like that? Oh, how do you like them apples? Motherfucker. Nah. <laughs> All right, let's get these minions. Not miss that one. Oh, I missed it anyways. All right, whatever. Can we get some of these? Yes. Uh, one item I have considered with Poppy is maybe getting some sort of like a Hydra, like Titanic Hydra or something like that, but... Honestly, I don't think Titanic Hydra works with her that, that well because you don't auto attack that much. So the AoE doesn't really work well with her kit. You're more ability use, uh, ability focused. So I think Black Clear is probably better. But you could technically get the uh, Titanic Hydra, and it wouldn't be bad because the base stats are good. But the passive I find really would be going to waste on Poppy. That's just my opinion, though. But <laughs> Callista here and Nautilus both trying to gangbang me, but my team is just pressuring mid lane because they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They're gonna pressure whatever the hell it is you are not defending. And if you are defending, my team is still gonna wreck you. Come on, Hecarim. Let's go. And I'm gonna knock some people away, I think. Or maybe I won't. Come on. Okay, I used my ult apparently. I hit Nautilus, I guess. I'm out of mana, though. This kind of sucks. Yeah, we're kind of getting wrecked in this fight, it looks like. I think I'm gonna flash here and just hopefully get away. And if me and Lava D-Man can kite back, that'd be good. A Mumu is on the way, but we don't have him just yet. And can we knock this guy away? Ah, uh, that was a bad decision. Bad, bad decision. Can I run away? I mean, I'm going pretty quick. And a Mumu is on the way. If I can run towards a Mumu. Yo, Mumu, be a man. Go in. Go in. Be a man. Yes. Kill them all. Yes. Show off the AP Mumu that I dissed earlier. Yes. Do it. Can I just get into the wall? Yes, we can. All right. Triple kill for a Mumu. Nice. Nice job. I was the ultimate bait. I ran circles around them. YouTuber, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him a lull. I'll, I'll do that. And actually, would Iceborne Gauntlet be good? I mean, it would cap our CDR. It would also just... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Because, yeah, we don't... We technically... Hold on. Is he going to die? Yes, he is. Nice. We technically don't have on-hit effects with our Q anymore like we used to with old uh, Poppy. But with that said, I still think Iceborne Gauntlet might be pretty good with us because it will allow us to uh, maybe more easily hit the second component of our Q damage. I don't know, I think Iceborne Gauntlet might be worth considering. I'm gonna try this. Alright. And yeah, I think as far as the last item goes, probably Banshee's Veil, not Maw. Yeah, Maw would be pretty dope. But yeah, we can probably do Baron here, actually, because they're just so overwhelmed in their base, and my Q damage is too far away. Alright, well, let's just do the Baron here. We're pretty tanky ourselves, so this is not too bad. And we have so many shields coming up from Lulu, and I'm gonna mention my passive, so this is fine. The problem is I just can't see the, the uh, passive on the floor, but there we go. Echo's gonna pick that up somehow. I guess our jungler wasn't there. Yeah, Moon was dead. But it's still fine. We still got it. Okay, now that you got Baron, we can talk. <laughs> and Lava D-Man trying to take my minions? Get out of here, son. These are mine. No, I'm bringing this one with me. No, come on. Hey! Alright, well, fuck this guy. Oh, he's gonna laugh at me too? Alright, I see how it is. Let's just go ahead and kill these, kill these minions. Please don't take all my minions, please. Mine. Alright, cool. He vines because he wrecked Hecarim within 7 seconds. I mean, that's not true. Hecarim was wrecking me. He just went a little bit too high. He went a little bit too ham. I'm coming behind, though. Yo, Lucem, what's up, baby? Knock you to the wall or something. And maybe I don't want to stay here. I mean, Nautilus is ulting me. And hold on, Hecarim. Really low health. Still coming out. Hold on. Can we s oh, wait. He's dead. What the fuck? What killed him? All right. We're on the way. Maybe let's finish the turret off. Never mind. Yeah, Echo's just like being on the backside, being a pest, but not really diving. I thought he was diving, that's why I was worried. And hold on, nearly hit a spear. Should I be worried? Probably not. I think we're okay. I guess the Sheen effect does work with our passive, which is kind of cool. All right. Avoiding that nearly spear. Probably can sit the turret here, actually. Yeah, they're not defending this worth shit. 
We lost Shastana, who's actually 0-6. Holy man. That's a rough game, man, for her. She's got a single kill this game. After this game, you better talk to me. Lol. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And hold on, here's the engage. Let's kill him. The body slam's gonna do enough. Get off me, Nautilus. Nice damage coming on to him. And get knocked away from our Lulu. Can we get the angle right to knock him into the inhibitor? Yes, we can. Alright, there's the damage coming out. See you later, Hecarim. Can we get the damage on to this guy as well? Can we get listen into the wall? Yes, we can. Alright. All damage coming out. Kill him. Yes, double kill. Very, very nice. Alright, yeah, we're killing them all, baby. Let's get this first inhibitor down. Or hit, not inhibitor, sorry, nexus turret. And get the next one. Alright, there's two nexus turrets down. You wanna fight me, Nautilus? You wanna fight this? Nah, you don't want to fight this. I was gonna knock him into the nexus, but that's okay. We'll just finish off the game here, guys. Sitting at 14 and 1, not a bad scoreline whatsoever. Hopefully, you guys like this game. If you did, make sure to drop that rating. Helps with the channel so, so much. I'm sorry that my commentary is a little bit loopy this game. This is like, I think, my fifth, fourth or fifth take, maybe less. I don't know. I've kind of lost track of Poppy today, playing a lot of her, and I'm just getting kind of worn out of talking. So, hopefully, you guys don't mind that too much. And of course, make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out soon, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Production.